Greetings everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Old World Blues Monsters of the East 3.1.1 at the start of a new campaign. Now, we're, I did click on Texas here, but we're not playing as Texas, as you can tell from the thumbnail, maybe, and maybe from the title description, we're not playing in Texas. We're going to play as The Last Patrol, and because this is my first campaign playing in Oklahoma in Old World Blues, we're going to leave on historical AI focuses, custom game rules, no one's going to be strengthened, everything's going to be set to default, but let's begin the mods we're using our Colored events, Old World Blues, of course, Old World Blues Radio, player led peace conferences, as well as this state transfer tool mod. If you have any other suggestions for mods I should try out, or maybe some mods that might change up the font from time to time, please let me know in the comments below. But regardless, Oklahoma, finally. Now, I was recommended to play as the Last Patrol because they do have a unique focus tree. It's not particularly too long. And it's kind of interesting playing in Oklahoma, as we'll see in just a little bit, because the loading screen takes sometimes forever, but that's totally okay. So, let's begin with some research. We have four research slots, and we have an army with a state, which we'll look at in just a little bit. Actually, you know what? Before we do that, let's look at this, the spirit. An army of the state, we lose political power, we lose stability, offensive war penalty stability modifier goes up by 15%, we get more resistance targets, damage to enemy garrisons in our states occupying by the enemy, plus 60%, we lose daily compliance, we get less caps expenses, but core creation cost goes up, we lose civilian factory construction speed, and industry and electronics technology research speed does hinder us, but we do have four research slots, which we'll do in just a little bit. Born to feel. This is a life we were given, not the life we chose. We are born to feel, as it says, or born to peel on his helmet. And we're led by Ad Adjunct Adjutant General Christopher Harrison. And if you want to read about his story, go right ahead. Cool. And we'll come back here and do this. So we get a penalty to this stuff. Actually, no, not not the uh, engineering, but we do get a penalty to industry. Regardless, we're still going to go down this way in which we're going to choose work is needed because work is needed is very, very good. Land Doctrine. Mm, because we're leading with a guy, a ghoul, I should say, who is very conventional, who was basically in the National Guard. That's kind of where the inspiration came from for, I think, this general or our leader. We'll probably have to go with conventional warfare, but I'm going to actually stay away from either one of these because we have an option later on. We have gliders. we got biplane fighters. That's actually really cool. We start with that stuff. Let's go ahead and just grab some warrior training instead. Now, the land option. We do get an event. I have played this off screen a little bit. We do get an event stating whether or not we want to go down a particular land doctrine, so we'll see that in just a little bit. We're not, we, we use guns here, so no basic melee weaponry. We'll grab some of that, grab some of this. I'm actually going to put saws up to the top because we already have some divisions that already use saws. So let's come over here. And National Guard, we're ghouls, and we already have fire teams. Actually, really, really cool. We have less than a thousand manpower, which is not ideal, and we'll train two divisions at once. Let's see what happens, and let us let time go on. And we're led by Force Commander. Oh, I always have trouble reading this name. Nagan? Nagayan? Caps Upgate? Born to Feel, huh? Cool. Regardless, thank you very much. And I'm not going to throw anything on her yet because we don't have enough command power. So, and early on, we are going to end up going to war. Oh, you are editing or Oh, no matter. Cool. Let's come over here. Be okay, game. Please don't end up like this without the entire campaign game. Or this entire episode. Why is it set to that... Mode that is very unusual. Sir, what the heck? Uh, I'm not clicking anything, and I shouldn't need to do anything to fix this. Yeah, it's auto. Oh god, it's one of those whiteboard glitches where it just wants auto like glitch on you. Oof, that's not a good deal. But that's all right. We'll god dang it, we'll deal with it. So, born to feel. Harrison, come downstairs. You'll be late for school. Memory is crappy. Christopher Harrison, General of the Oklahoma National Guard, knows this, yet he can't afford to forget. Now, Harry, you know you have to apply to VTU. You'll, you will never get us into a vault if you don't. Don't you want your parents to be well off? For a ghoul, you have to fight to hold on to your memories. A mind is stretched thin as it gets older, the nuance of the past fading as you walk further away from the you that was. I love you, Harry. Come with me to Europe. We will be safe there. A ghoul cannot afford to forget. When you forget who you are, where you came from, and where you drive in life, you risk losing everything. A ghoul without a past as a ghoul without a future, and a ghoul without a heart, in essence, is a monster. I cannot forget, we get some support equipment and support te technology blueprint, a research bonus, or even if it hurts, we get 500 units of support equipment. Well, right now, we don't really need any, so I'm gonna, I cannot forget. Cool. Fortunate son, of course. We have to make the best of it. We are fortunate like that. Yeah, even on default, look at that. On default, that is not cool. Okay. Hmm... Hold Alt. 
There we go. Hopefully this will work. So, Fortune Stone. Sometimes Harrison has to remind himself that this ex existence isn't a curse. That he was given an unlife for a purpose, rather than this being a fate's way of punishing him for a crime unjust. The last patrol to many of the ghouls of Oklahoma is that purpose. Harrison knows how hard it is to hold on to just himself. What of others who lived hard lives that were worth forgetting? Lives where an eternal existence is actually true punishment. They had no hope of holding on to themselves, of not falling into the mind of a beast and forgetting what it's like to be human. Harrison's patrols how he would keep these ghouls from forgetting themselves to give them a life they could be proud of. I am proud of my company, as they are of me. Now, I love war support, or war support. I love army XP, but war support is, can be sometimes a little bit more difficult to acquire. Paint it black. Bl paint the world our colors, let's make it ours. Please tell me you're not set there. Good, 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 good. Now, decisions, we're gonna not do that. Thank you. We can prioritize stuff. We get to almost 25 caps every quarter, which is not bad. And 200 years later, and the Lost Patrol still upholds their mission. An eternal patrol, more for the benefit of the ghouls serving in it than the good they do in the wasteland. The ghouls of the Lost Patrol are concerned, above all, with the survival of their own tenants, personality, and history. The Lost Patrol has grown and shrunk as time has gone on, intermittent fight breaking up between the Brotherhood, Raiders, Settlers, and Tribals alike. The newest of the rivals to the Lost Patrol, the Possessed Army of the Chapel. Across uh, Cimarron River, an army of sad or addled tribals gather in preparation for a crossing to attack where the Last Patrol is currently camped. Something is keeping these tribesmen enslaved, a cage of the mind. It's been some time since the patrol has had a threat this great still. Sometimes it's hard, life's hardest struggles to give a person definition. We will beat these monsters, all or nothing, and this is what we're talking about. Refined Warfare reaches speed plus 10%, Division Attack plus 15%, but we lose 15% Division Defense, or die trying, where we get 10% Conventional Warfare reaches speed, and we get 6% both Attack and Defense. Now, I might play as the Patrol again, the last Patrol, in the future someday, I don't know, but you know what we're going to do? We're going to beat these monsters. Now, why would I choose Refined Warfare? I'll show you in just a little bit once we get through another one. Focus. Loose stability. Ooh, I don't want to lose stability. Get another Arms Workshop. You get arms workshop right there. I'll grab this one. Loot, equipment, stashes. We've had some equipment buried for just the rainy day as this. We're going to need it if we're going to fight the possessed. Now, why would I choose refined warfare right now? Because in Old World Blues 3.0, they actually updated this a little bit more. So you can actually take refined warfare for more if you even if you prioritize infantry, because all this affects. Like if you look at army, you can actually hover over this and it tells you specifically what gets these bonuses, which I think is awesome, awesome, awesome. So so you get, you get organization, soft attack. Over here you get more recovery rate, organization. Notice that, that there's nothing yet for just like um, power armor. Rapid deployment, which we probably might end up using this campaign. I'm not really sure. Flexibility movement works on your army as well and max speed. Flexibility command. So these fighting support units are actually just basically support companies. So you get more soft attack and hard attack for these guys. Non-combat support, which is... Some other some other re support companies as well. Organization, reliability, so it's okay. And then, of course, you have walking tanks, which obviously is heavy special forces with power armor. And then you have the army, just gets more defense. So we're going to go down this path. Now, we can do purity, which doesn't actually look too bad. It helps your army out, so your infantry gets a bonus to them. The army gets even more bonuses. You lose reinforce rate, but if you get plus 10% here, you minus 10%, that just means nothing, basically. So, And then you have shotgun off for the army as well. So really... There's not that much in terms of power armor specific bonuses. I cannot find the correct words there, but Memphis Caravaneers. Just recently, a group of cloaked mysterious traders have arrived. They claim to be from the city of Memphis out east, an important trading port along the strait of the Mississippi River. They offer us goods and trinkets, gold jo coins, jewelry, and tribute. Not a lot here can be turned into ammo, but we can sell some of it off to the other traders in hopes of getting some caps, as long as they don't cause us trouble. Now, principal, which I love, actually, Army Recon. Hold on, so if it's Army Recon, that means Power Armor Platoons get that Recon too. Ooh, that's, that's kind of nice. Warrior Code for just the entire army as well. Infantry gets stuff, specifically infantry. But then, also, you have Champions of Virtue, in which the Special Forces, Power Armor, they actually get these bonuses and not the army, which is okay. And again, Noigan Gwain falls ill, so it's actually very interesting. And now that we have this, I'm going to go ahead and begin... Doing our land doctrine of refined warfare. Very nice. Because we want to get that done ASAP. So, stay on caravans. If we do this, we get plus 10% caps income. We almost have 25 right now. We lose 25 caps. We receive 8,500 caps per quarter for 275 days. I'm not sure that's really worth it. 
Well, we'll do it for funsies anyways, why not? Something a little different. And we're led by Harrison, of course. Born to feel. All or nothing. That's the way we like to roll. And next up, we shall have recruitment drives. Nguyen has offered to help us reach out to human communities near Tulsa. See if anyone is willing to help us fight the monsters that are the Chained Choir. We get more manpower and another arms workshop, which is great. But we lose a little bit of stability, which I'm not particularly keen about. In which I will... Also, we have no other conscription law. And, of course, always ready, always there, which is a motto of... An, or the slogan of the National Guard. Very cool. Ooh, I do want to get to Leonida Gilbert, so that'd be cool. And here are all the little ministers, high commanders, ministry that we can choose from. Which is not bad. Which we'll probably go with Zach Polk maybe eventually for just faster just by World Gold Times. It's usually not worth doing it, but I'm gonna do it anyways. And choose Thomas Ector for more stability and a little bit more political power. It's not really worth it that much, but we're still gonna do it anyways because we can. Reference manuals are good because we only get 0.66 political power a day, which is not very good. To be honest with you, it's not very good, but that's okay. We only have three divisions, which is why we're making two more because we're really, really, really going to need them soon. Especially if we end up going to war with the Chain Choir, which shouldn't be too bad for us. We can't even do that. We have a whole two civilian factories being worked on right now, but that's okay. Anything else? Cultural advisors, Warmonger, which is someone we're going to grab later on for more war sport, and just by Wargo's times, Kirby Reynolds, or Boros to clear one of the old bones. Nathan Blunt is actually pretty good. More monthly population is okay, not great, but a recruitable population factor 10% isn't too bad either. So, I should probably talk about the scope of the campaign. In my mind, the scope of the campaign really is determined by the focus tree to a degree, and the implications and the desire or the direction that the leader wants to take. And basically, we eventually have state elections, and that's pretty much it. Once we form Oklahoma, that's kind of it. So, I think a good goal for us is to just form Oklahoma, and that's pretty much it, I think, for this campaign. Just my thoughts. Just my thoughts. Political bribes. Actually, we'll probably take that. You know what? I'll probably take that right now. Since, yeah, let's do that one. Just so I can get a cheaper advisor. Oh, wait. Oh, that doesn't affect... Oh, whoopsie. That doesn't affect these guys. Whoopsie, my bad. Why did I choose that then? I thought it would affect the cultural advisors, but it does not... But we might get enough political power to do this anyways, so... Actually, you know what? We could choose someone here. I like the less damage of garrisons and division defense on core territory. That's pretty darn good, I would say. And we're going to grab scout kits, because I do want to get to power armor, so... Nice, nice, nice. And stop the music. We can end their song if we all work together. Let's stop these monsters before they attack us bloody mutant zombies. And we're going to war with those guys. That's pretty good. You know what? Since we're here, we want to take it, right? No, I want to get this one first. No, I'm going to do this one of these first. Reconnaissance, a division attack and defense, that's not bad. I like that a lot. We're going to grab that one. Because you have Brute, Charles Robertson, 5% more attack. But why don't you just get 5% more attack and defense for under Richard Schenk? You could grab both, of course, for 10% more total, but... Yeah, it's okay. 0.58. Hmm. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Does the last lodge have a unique focus tree? I don't think they do. They're led by Cortez, right? Yeah. Yeah, they don't have a unique focus tree. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Uh, I've been told that the Texan Brotherhood tree isn't technically finished yet, but we'll see what happens. I want to play as him someday, and I promise I will, but I'm just not sure when. Lone Star, I played as Lone Star once. Let's see, Eden, I don't think he has a unique one. TAA, Todd Howitzer. Oh, oh. I did not realize that they had a unique focus tree, too. Bright, big and bright. Wow. That is a massive logo. That is so cool. The South Texan League. Whoa. I did not realize that the TAA has a unique focus tree. I did not realize that. Of course, I need to play Santa Ana again, Ironmongers, Unity Boston. None of these guys have a focus tree, except that Houston Rockets, which is pretty short, honestly. They don't have a very... Ooh, no! If I remember correctly, at the time of this recording, they used to have a focus tree. But it was removed. Now, it'll be back eventually, I'm sure. But it's just going to take some time. Unfortunate, but oh well. And the answer is going to war with the Rapids. Very cool. Nice. Let's grab some woodworking. It takes so long to get this stuff researched, but that's okay. Oh, hey, another division. Nice. I'm not actually going to put you anywhere yet. I want them to rapidly attack our guys first when we do go to war, so we'll wait for that first. Seven days, secret language, and then we'll probably do... Yeah, improvised tools. That's going to take long enough, so we might as well do that, right? Mutual exclusive with scavenge tools. Actually, I should probably show... Oh, they go to war with us. Okay. Well, whatever. Fine with me, then. They could have told us. We could have saved a lot of political power that way. So, uh, extra scrap. It ain't me. Army XP. Actually, we're out of scrap, if I remember correctly. Yes, we are. So it might be worth doing that so we can produce more stuff. 
ammo supplies, flamethrowers, man's company fuel. So you lose soft attack reliability, but get 25% better production costs. But the one over here gives you plus 25% soft attack and hard attack, minus 1% stability, and plus 2% production costs. So basically, if you take both, you get plus, technically plus a good 23% of production costs. You lose... 2% reliability, and you get 24% more soft attack. Not bad. So, army XP is okay. I'm gonna go with ammo supplies, because we can probably use them. Stockpiling ammo is important if we were to outlast the enemy. Peace is a lie, there is only war. Cool, and they're gonna attack us all willy willy nilly. Actually, I don't want you to go there. I want you to actually go down here. Why? Because we're probably gonna attack through here. That's why. Cool, and we need more fire teams. What else is new, though? We really want to have a good time with them. Just let them continue attacking us and see what happens. Not too worried about it. I'm really not too worried about this war, because they'll just keep attacking, probably. So, CVC civilian arms? No, I'm not going to disarm the population. Are you kidding me? You're crazy if you think I'll do that. Warden? And unit commander's doing okay. Yep. Just got to bait him into attacking us again and again and again. Spent some time. We've lost two guys. They've lost 120. Not bad. How strong are these guys? Or girls, whoever. So this is the chain choir. And... Ooh, there's a peace conference. Goes goodbye, matrons. Led by the first chorister. War support. A lot of more war support. Not a lot of research speed. And... Huh. Immortal engineering. If you would like to read about this, go right ahead. First chorister is the daughter of an indebted, deluded, and drugged up mother and unknown father. Or farther. Not father, but farther. Okay. Well, if she's chained up, you get me a little excited. But anyways. <laughs> now, oh, look at that. Manpower. Actually, quite, quite a bit more. You don't want to attack us? What? we got to wait for them to attack us more and more and more and more. Obviously, we got to attack down here. Crushers, Army, Declared Warrant. Actually, Unity, Unity of Austin. We do have planes. I forgot about that. We do have a few planarinos. You can help out here. That's fine. Actually, just throw yourself right there. There you go. Man, I want these guys to attack at least one more time. Just one more time. Ammo supplies are nice. River stations. The patrol has been known to set up river outposts along the coast to watch for raiders, traders, or tribals passing into their lands. Our boats play on the dry boat. Dry dudes. Come on. Just attack me once more. Just once. Because I don't want to have to force attack over there, too. Oh, there we go. Concentration of force. We lose some recruitable population factor. Whatever. More recovery rate. Organization, I think. Mm, yeah. That's good. Alright, that's the case. We stockpiled another division over here, which is good. Alright, at this point, we got to attack somewhere then. We've lost, what, four guys versus 400? Fire teams are pretty darn nice to have. Not gonna lie. And we could attack here. They're probably gonna attack us again. Could we actually win over here? Oh, we can't. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, yeah. Even, even if you force the attack, you still do pretty darn well. And actually, I'm going to throw you guys over here, too. Lone Star is that? Whoa. Um, this is unhistorical. I did not realize that they would get taken out. Okay. Okay. I didn't realize that. Go west? No. Oh, oh well, I've never seen that happen before, so we'll see what happens. Travel Scout kits? Don't mind if we do. Pioneer kits are a little bit ahead of time. We do already have saws, which is a very nice thing. Healing powder, oh, maybe doggos. We don't need a penetration. Not too much penetration yet. Oh, we could do that, maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'll do it anyways, why not? We're gonna have XP for it. Sure. Let's go do that. And you're going to help actually go that way too, because you are going to go ahead and take the chapel. Very nice. And you just stay there. That's very good. Cut these guys off. We could actually attack there and encircle these guys, but we're going to wait. Let's take out the chapel first. There we go. And they attack us immediately. These guys will starve and die. That is good and ideal. And stonks. Cool. That happens every campaign, so if you want to read about that, go right ahead. And you guys are going to come over here, because no one's going to be able to stop us if we do that. And actually... If we come right here, we can circle these divisions right there, too. Help defeat them there. Cut these guys off there. Actually, no. Don't, don't do that yet. Cut these guys off. You guys can help attack right there. Force the attack. There you go. Now that's nice. 
And you just help the detective there too. That's good. Not too bad, I do say so myself. Very good. A singular division. You guys come right there. Whee! And then you go... Well, it doesn't even matter. Take him out. At this point, just go ahead and force the attack. I think we'll do pretty well, even if we just force it, so... Oh, they have another division over there. That was close. And you come back over here. Five divisions, not bad. How many men have we lost? We've lost eight. We've killed off about a thousand. I'd say that's so far pretty successful. We have no stability, but we've got enough war support that we're doing pretty darn well, I'd say. Uh, just go up to Fort Supply. You'll be fine. There you go. You can help support the attack. Keep them busy. River stations. And let's go grab some man's fuel company. Company fuel. The man's company, based out of Melbourne, sold equipment to the OKNG, the Oklahoma National Guard, before the Great War. Their propane is remarkably dangerous. Let's throw it into our flamers. Beautiful. And that's the end of them. Thank you for playing in the chain choir. And you tied up your daughter. Oh my goodness. Uh, anyways. Come on down here and let time go on. Because the next group we have to fight is the United Native American Nations. Or the Great Plains Federation. Yep, that's the next big group we gotta kill off. Regardless, go ahead and train. We gotta make more divisions now. Go up to... Uh, let's go up to five. Five seems pretty good, right? And get through a lot of focuses. We need more fire teams, which is fine. We got some demo equipment, which is pretty good as well. However, I do want to focus a little bit more on doing this, throwing on more infantry, really ghoul infantry. However, we do have some resistance. So let's go ahead and do sporadic outposts first. Why am I doing sporadic outposts? Because if you look at our focus tree, once we get through man's fuel company, it doesn't really matter right now. If I remember correctly, the possessed freed, you get cores on their states. So I don't want to spend too much equipment trying to put these guys down. Yeah, I mean, we're still going to get some compliance. This will be getting higher and higher for a while, but whatever. Oh, research slot. Whoops, my bad. All right, not bad. It's almost 2276. Let's grab some more research speed with resistors. Very good. And so we'll get that extra political power first. Not going to be great, but you know what? We can use political power throughout the rest of the campaign, which I can't imagine this campaign is going to be super long, but that's okay. And then we'll keep building ourselves up because we get focuses or war goals eventually against the Sept War Band. I think the last lodge in the scrapper's compact too. But yeah, we gotta form Oklahoma. And to do so, I believe you need to have ten states of Oklahoma before you can do anything. So we have one, two, three, four. Not bad. We can go five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Cool. Well working. Happy twenty two seventy six everyone. Hope you're having a great year. Local workspaces because we need more output right now. Yeah, we could definitely use more army XP and stuff. Cool. And let's go and do the possessed freed. We have done it. The chain choirs no more. And the possessed army that threatened our base has been defeated and detained. We core all their states, which is really, really great. And up next. Oh, I really want that, but we can wait. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Now we get points of one. Not that much more, but any extra political power I could use, I really just want to get. So, really, really, really going to need it. And actually, we could probably use another field. We could actually use a field marshal, period. Planning speed, 10%. It's not that bad, but still. National Guard symbol. Ooh, and we're on everyone for the war machine, or everybody for the war machine, which hurts our population, but, you know, whatever. And then distressed outsiders, of course. Peace conference is over. Oh, Crusher's army. Oh, goodbye. Standard wages. Cool. Now, if we go with family stipends to increase the wages, it costs more money, but you get army, more army XP gain, recruitable population factor, max training, and special forces capacity multiplier. That's okay. I was hoping you get more attack that way, but you, you really don't. Even with the next level, it costs more, but you don't get any more attack. Which kind of sucks. I'm not going to lie. kind of does suck. You guys come over here. I'll be fine. Because if you go down with this, National... Well, technically, we kind of already are the National Guard, but whatever. You actually lose attack, organization, and recovery rate. So, it's not really worth doing that, at least in my opinion. It doesn't seem really worthwhile, I, wish, I should say. Since we are that many commanders, we can spend five political for Diamond Sims. Semes. And he's an inspirational dude. Ooh, local leader. I like local leader. Rooted might be pretty good for us as well. Oh, we'll get him up upgraded several times. Just go ahead and dig in, guys. You'll be fine. Santa Caravan? Why not? We'll try it. 
an offer from Memphis. The traders from Memphis that arrived earlier have taken an interest in our victory against the chapel, so much so that they've given us an offer. They are willing to pay us if we were to give them the leadership of the chain choir's slaves. It turns out that the high leadership of Memphis is interested in the capabilities as oracles. However, the first chorister herself has given us another offer. If we were to spare the choir and leave them be within the cathedral, that the choir would be willing to work with us rather than against us. Whom should we listen to? They are slavers. They deserve slavery. Or we are merciful even to monsters. So, which focus do we complete? Do we complete a fair exchange? Should we get caps? Or chorus entwined? It's our duty to protect Oystlanders and us from the monsters of the world. We can't trust Memphis with these things. Instead, let us try to work with the choir and keeping them detained within the prison. They've offered us a little help as, in turn as a sign of cooperation, after all. Which we get more energy. <sighs> what are we going to do with caps? Buy more stuff? We're probably going to do chorus entwined. So we are merciful even to monsters. Cool. And the Star Spangled Eyes, and then we can form Oklahoma eventually. With the defeat of the Chain Choir, Harrison has had his biggest victory since the Chicago raids years back. An idea snuck into the General's head, one of forming something better than just a loose patrol, in which we can form uh, Oklahoma eventually. That's cool that we got a flat eight ele extra electricity, but we'll see what happens. News from a Commander General, sir. Commander Nguyen reporting in. My boys have discovered a way we can break the connection that the choir used to have over their soldiers. Going to need some caps to buy the supplies, but in turn I think this will help our patrol get even more troops than it has ever had before. Even more than we had in Chicago raids. Good work, Commander. We get we more weekly manpower for like four years, it looks like. Probably four years. I, I don't want to do math in my head. Maybe five years. Uh, let's see. One, two. Yeah, it's two years. I think. 365 times four. Yeah, it's got to be four years. And we lose some passive caps, but that's fine. I, I really don't mind freeing the possessed then. That's not too bad. And we get 43 still, so. Especially with the caravan still on. Political bribes, invest in small businesses. It's not bad. Concentration of force, though. Nice. Let's go and do rapid deployment. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And next up, 0.71. Not great, not bad. Next research will be done soon. Star Spangled Eyes. After this, we will go to scrapping use cartridges, because we could really use that army XP. But then we have stuff down here we could do. Loyalists among the smooth skins. We get a general, that's not too bad. Or unit leader, I should say. Like minded individuals. We get settler power armor tech, which I like a lot. I like that. Settler power armor tech. Executives, soul of duty. Four more factories, that's not bad. Spirit of duty. We get more manpower and some scrap and fabrication technology, I think. Or was it. What do we call that if we get? Circuitry. Circuitry, duh. Duh, Mr. Mokalover. And actually, we're going to need another army here, too. Right here. Looks like we got a ship, or we got a boat, because they got to protect the capital. Because if the capital falls, well, we're not going to be doing very well, are we? Grab some smoke signals, that'd be great. Grab that ship, and be gentle with it. It's a battle cruiser, and William Bu- Okay, Hinachi McLaws, even though we're probably not even going to use them. Leader ex experience ship- ex ex blah, 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 blah. Leader experience gain. It's very important to keep in mind. Enid Defense Zone. Very cool, very cool. We could raise our stability, but I still want some more army XP. So let's go ahead and see if maybe... What do we get? Actually, if we go on this way, we get more weekly manpower and stability, which I like a lot, so... Bottle Cap Collection Cap. The bottle, the bottle clap, the bottle cap collection cap is the hat we pass around the fireplace for soldiers to pass it or use bottle caps into. When a trader comes into town, we can use the cap and buy something nice. That'd be very, very good. Cool, so we got that guy. We still get points of one. Next up on the docket is military theorist. Now doing military theorist over here would not be very good since we wouldn't get a bonus because we are going down to refined warfare. And we could use the army XP. We already have eight. And we did core the territory already, so I don't mind going ahead and uh, doing more ghoul infantry stuff. Thank you. And we'll throw you right there. We're going to leave three divisions here. That might be enough to defend, because there is a waterway, and these guys will be pretty darn entrenched. Over here, we don't need that many soldiers. Really, we need a couple soldiers over here to help beat this knight out of enemies when they do attack us. But we'll see what happens. What are we missing? We're missing fire teams. Ooh, and infantry equipment. That is not ideal. That's really not good. Do that. Put you up top. Then do that. And then do some travel scout kits. Nah, power armor is the way to go. We actually have some crowd control gear too. And dynamite. Ooh. We just need more army XP, which is what, what, why we're going to get the guy next. How's construction going? Hey! 4 out of 15 is not bad. And then build up here, here. Port supply? Yeah, port supply. Executives. So, since we're here anyways, we must start doing an agency, right? Let me know in the comments below, guys. What would be a good name 
for a nation in Oklahoma that's basically part of the National Guard. Like, I'm thinking, like, Sooner Express or something. But let me know in the comments below. And I'm going to go ahead and choose this one because I think that one fits a little bit better. Create an agency. Finally. An agency. We actually, actually might be able to use. Military theorist. Ooh, local workspaces. Yes, please. Very good. Grab some construction speed, even though it takes forever to get that done. Oh, my goodness. And bottle cap collection cap. Very, very nice. And yeah, we definitely want more stability. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Songs, if you want to read about that, go right ahead. Cool, but well, we're going to go with songs from the front. Let's get around the campfire and hear a song or two. That should lighten the mood just a wee bit. But I think that's what we'll end today's episode here. We took out the chain choir, we cored their territory, and we're preparing for an inevitable war against Oklahoma City, Tulsa, Hotel, and the Big Spend. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already. And I'll see you tomorrow when maybe we might just be able to form Oklahoma. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.